Scott Sabin, Senior Manager of Customer Loyalty and Insights at Walgreens and a 16-year veteran of the market research and insights industry, and your guest host of this week's On The Mark podcast. Today, I want to take a few minutes talking about gratitude and giving thanks to others. Over the past few years, we have all been through a whole lot that we are now just seeing the effects of as some parts of our everyday lives are back to the pre-pandemic era and others have forever changed to a hybrid or virtual world. The crux of my topic is around giving thanks and is tied directly to job interviews. An example that I will provide of how gratitude was shown to me took place over 20 years ago when I worked for the college radio station at the University of Iowa. I hosted a sports talk radio show in which I had Iowa former athletes, current players, and coaches on my show. I had linebackers coach Brett Bielema on one Thursday night for a 30-minute interview. I loved the conversation and was so appreciative of his time. Then a week of the interview, I received a letter in my mailbox at the radio station with a signed note from Brett. To summarize the letter, he thanked me for the interview and the chance to be on my show, along with expressing how he thought this was just the start of my broadcasting career. This stuck with me, especially as Brett has risen through the college football ranks and is now the head coach of my rival at the University of Illinois especially in this virtual world where interviews are taking place virtually as opposed to in the office, I know some candidates feel less connected to the hiring team. I have heard from many hiring managers that candidates do not always send thank you notes to the interview team. I see this as a critical mistake. It is always important to thank someone for giving you their time. Also, sending a thank you note for an interview gives the candidate another connection point with the hiring team and a chance to reinforce why they're the best fit for the job. Finally, a thank you note also says a lot about the candidate and how much they really want to position and illustrates the potential traits that they would take with them to the job you are looking to fill. By no means is it the deciding factor when it comes to evaluating prior experience and fit. However, when choosing between two candidates, it could tip the scales in one candidate's favor. This has been Scott Sabin. Thank you for listening and have a great day.